got the opportunity, Ted, to take a road trip just outside of our city around old, the old area to a dairy farm in our province. It's called Buffalo Rock Farm. Cool. And the, uh, the Ritter family hosted us there. They're just a beautiful family. One of 550 dairy farms here in the province. They are all run by families and had the chance to uh, get a snap into the day of a life of a dairy farmer. Take a look. Well, we made the road trip here all the way to the Ritter Farm and happy to meet everybody here. Quite a crew. So we've got Baron and Karen and Mike, Ella and little Jace here and another one in school. So it's a very busy farm and a happy family. And you guys are going to take me on a tour today, which we greatly appreciate. This is really cool. I've never actually been on a dairy farm before. So you're a second generation here in Canada. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what takes place here. So we milk about 130 cows mm -hmm. uh, twice a day. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we do a little bit of cropping and um, uh, with my wife yep. and my mom and dad, they're still actively farming. And uh, yeah, so our day-to-day -day stuff is taking care of animals, milking the cows, obviously, uh, feeding cows, bedding cows, right? a lot of stuff. And we're actually going to go inside, so let's take a walk here so we can see uh, all of the animals. And now some of these cows are actually expecting babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, within the next uh, two weeks, any of these ones will, will calf. Okay. And uh, yeah, have a little baby. Fantastic. Now I think one of the things that people may not know is that the milk that comes from Alberta actually stays in Canada as well. That's right, yeah. The, the milk is being uh, processed within Canada. Mm -hmm and then um, um, uh, sold in Canada. Mm -hmm. So whenever you see the blue cow logo on the packaging, then you know it's the good Canadian and stuff. That's the good stuff, and you got the hat to prove it here. Let's, let's show off your hat here, Mike. Uh, that looks awesome. So that's the logo that we're looking for. We're going to go through the paces here of what a day in the life is like for you and get a chance to actually milk the cows. But a lot of this is now automated, is that right? Uh, yep, yep, a lot of it is automated, however, there is still manual labor involved. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. Ella, are you going to help me milk a cow? Yeah? No, no she's <laughs> not going to help me. She likes to help Dad, though. We'll see, we'll see if we can warm up uh, here this morning. So, fantastic. So, we're actually going to go and get set up and sure, get yeah. milking? All right, All right well. here we go. Let's go, guys. So we'll be visiting the milk parlor in the next segment. It's called a parlor. It's called a parlor. Okay. 658 million liters of milk produced last year by Alberta dairy farmers. So uh, quite the operation. And of course, they don't get days off. They work 12 hours a day. They yeah. start before 5 in the morning, and yeah. then they do two milkings a day. So it's pretty interesting. It's a well-oiled machine. When do you become a maid of milking? I believe the next segment. Okay. A maid of milking. There we go. Mm-hmm.